Hello and welcome to yet another design video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to become a UX designer. This video is specifically targeted towards people who are just starting out and they want to do better. Uh, I'll be sharing a couple of tips and tricks. Uh, so please stay till the end of the video to know how you can actually become a better designer. So first things first, what do you do on day one uh, when you have set out in this course to become uh, a UX designer. And it's also not something that you'll do on day one and then get over with it because this is something that you'll carry with you throughout your uh, journey as a UX designer is getting inspired. I think inspiration is the number one thing that drives this whole thing. UX design is not just something that will just occur to you it doesn't because there's a lot of exposure there's a lot of practice and there's a lot of interaction that you need to do in order to get better and what drives that is inspiration you really need to be inspired you really want to do this you really want to become a ux designer i think maintaining that spirit is something that a lot of designers struggle with uh, waking up in the morning and filling yourself with this enthusiasm and this excitement is is i think that could really you know help you become better every day Number two is technical know-how. Please uh, remember that UX is a very, very specialized skill. It needs a lot of practice. It needs a lot of exposure in order to become better at it. So what you really need to do is understand uh, the underlying principles. Now there's so many resources out there. You can check out my older videos. You can check out my blog in order to update yourself uh, so that you become uh, technically aware of what you're doing. Because unless you're not sure that you know you have the technical know-how, it's very difficult for you to you know deep dive and 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 absorb more complex concepts. Because the deeper you go, the the more uh, complex it's going to become. So it's very important that you start off technically aware. Number three is Googling. <laughs> it's easier said than done. But what I mean is there's so much information available out there on the web. You could search for specific concepts or topics and then you'll have like a thousand different uh, articles, blogs people have already worked on and you could get inspiration. And if you need uh, specific help regarding the UI patterns, there's a bunch of different websites out there that have these specific uh, user flows uh, created for you so that you can understand you know how the process works or or if you want more visual inspiration you have things like uh, dribble and behance where you could uh, you, can, you know go out there and check out what's the latest uh, and the greatest of trends and what other designers are doing so that you can uh, bring some of those elements into your design and that could really help you uh, stay up to date and it could also help you design something that is you know as good as any any other designer out there in the world so that's important the next part is learning a tool I know we talk a lot about uh, you know the benefits of using sketch versus figma versus XD but at I've already talked about this in a previous video. Tools are just mediums. What you really need to know is what you make out of it, right? So it's, it's important, but it's not a deal breaker because you know I've seen a lot of designers, UX designers specifically, who, who don't even use a high fidelity tool. Not every UX designer needs to be visually savvy. They don't need to be like a, a great a visual designer because UX designers could simply get their work done in, in Google Docs uh, Microsoft PowerPoint or, or any other tools that you would typically not use for design purpose and still call it a day because you know there's so much beyond the visual design that they do that you could you know just use whatever shipped with your computer I mean it's, it's, it's that simple you know if you want to draw uh, wireframes you could just use paper and pencil or use tools like you know very simple tools like Keynote or PowerPoint or you have uh, balsamic and whimsical and there are just so many of these uh, but of course I've seen and I've myself advocated a lot why Figma is like a good design tool so plus one for Figma uh, it's kind of it really helps you from idea to execution because I've 
scene designers who are also you know jotting down their ideas in Figma itself at drawing wireframes low fidelities in Figma high fidelity prototype so the whole end-to-end -end process for a designer today can be done within the same app and which is Figma so I, I, I genuinely urge you to uh, at least have a look at what figma is and then and get used to it if you are if you're coming from a photoshop background it's not that hard the toolbars and everything is pretty similar but if you've never done visual design before uh, it shouldn't take you more than a week to get going so please go out there and learn a tool another point i want to emphasize is learning formal education for uh, UX design. I myself am not a formally trained UX designer and I can tell you the pros and cons of it. The pro being uh, you can do whatever you want but the con being that it's going to take a very long time for you to perfect this skill because it's not as simple as reading a book because there are so many different things that you know you need uh, somebody to guide you, somebody to tell you where to look for information, to tell you what the process should be like. So I really urge you to go out there and take a course. This could be a form degree or an informal degree a formal degree meaning there's so many online platforms providing university level degrees for UX design and that's something that you could do or you could also take a local workshop in in 2022 it's very hard becoming an eclavia and hoping that you'll learn everything you want because you're gonna miss out a lot of concepts you know your whole learning process is gonna be very long it's gonna take you years and if you take a degree if you take a course you can do that in several weeks and that's a that's a clear advantage and also perspectives you'll have instant feedback and those things really matter I know a lot of these courses are not free and they charge you in US dollars but there are some platforms that provide you uh, discount coupons and they also provide you scholarships so why not just give it a shot and if you have a USD card it's much easier to uh, enroll in one of these courses uh, you know you could you could allocate certain hours every day or every week and say okay this is uh, the time I've set aside for this course and I'm going to complete it in X number of days that is really going to put you in discipline it's very important Another thing that you need to do is listen to industry uh, leaders and that design leaders that design advocates if you're on Twitter or other platforms you know you have these uh, really industry leaders who set the design trends who set the uh, standards of what design should be and are giving out free uh, gyan on Twitter so I suggest that you go out and follow them and there are a ton of these uh, design youtubers out there you can you can subscribe they're, they're out there sharing their knowledge everything that they've learned uh, so so it's it's very important that you listen to them because they're giving their experience and listening to somebody's experience could really help you uh, know what mistakes not to commit and that's that's gonna be very useful in, in the process so I, I urge that you go out there and follow these industry leaders on Twitter LinkedIn Instagram YouTube and they have, they have their own website they have their blogs just do it man this is like underrated but a book is like such an important tool in the learning process i cannot emphasize enough how much information and knowledge you can gain by reading books and articles you know i know hard copy books are difficult in this part of the world but what you could do is you could get soft copies almost every great design book out there has a, a digital copy and you could really buy them very easily in these online bookstores so i, I urge you to go out there and read you now books can really make make or break things because they are packed with knowledge man they're literally packed with knowledge just go out there and buy a book read it consume it and I cannot emphasize this enough man just I cannot emphasize this enough and finally last but not the least get your hands dirty you know you will not learn until and unless you build something out yourself what you can do is you can start with a mock project it does not have to be a real project it can be a fake company it can be a fake online store it can be a fake airline it can be anything you can start out by solving these imaginary problems they really help you understand the process put your knowledge all your learning into practice now, at the end of the uh, process you'll have something 
intangible that you could actually use as a portfolio to show to your potential recruiters. This sounds weird, but it's true. I urge a lot of uh, design uh, candidates who are looking for a job to build out a mock portfolio. And we can really examine your process. We can examine your know, understanding and then we can help you do better because this is the best way you can learn. You can really learn by doing and you don't need to have a real employer or a real client paying you to learn right so this could really be very very beneficial in, in the long run you know you're learning and you're also creating uh, a document that is an evidence that you have actually learned all right that's about it I hope uh, this has been helpful I know I talked about some very basic stuff but it's important when you're just starting out please let me know in the comments that if any of these uh, tips has been helpful for you and don't forget to share your work with me so we can talk about it I can I can help you give some ideas or feedback to make it better Thank you so much for watching this video. I make these design videos every week. So if you want to help me do better, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on what other things you want me to talk about. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.